Despite the Chevrolet logo, this car was developed by Korean engineers and was called the Daewoo Windstorm in its homeland. Its main competitors are compact crossovers from Hyundai and Kia. Only Chevrolet is noticeably larger than its compatriots. Probably because it was produced both in 5- and 7-seater versions, and only in a 5-door body. The car was delivered to Ukraine exclusively with an all-wheel drive transmission, although in Europe versions with front-wheel drive only were also sold. At first, we had only two engines, and both were gasoline, a 2.4-liter, 136 horsepower, and a 3.2-liter V6, 230 horsepower. Sometime later, a 2.2-liter, 184 horsepower turbo diesel was added to the gasoline power units. Four-cylinder engines were standard equipped with a five-speed manual transmission, and a five-speed automatic was offered for a surcharge. The flagship V6 was paired exclusively with an automatic transmission. Chevrolet Captiva does not shine with polished handling, and the cabin is not as spacious as you would expect. The rather heavy crossover clearly lacks the base gasoline quartet, and the V6 turned out to be voracious and not as high torque as we would like. However, the car has no obvious failures, as an inexpensive, moderate family horse, it fits perfectly. As for the configuration, the standard Captiva is equipped with four airbags, ABS and ESP systems, air conditioning, heated mirrors, a CD radio and parking sensors. The LT version additionally provides climate control instead of air conditioning, light and rain sensors. Moreover, for the third row of seats, automatic transmission, leather interior, CD changer and 18-inch wheels. You had to pay extra separately. The most sought after 2.4 liters, 136 horsepower, engine is sensitive to fuel quality. If it is bad, spark plugs, throttle position sensors and mass airflow sensors quickly fail. The electrician of the motor is junk, a generator is rented to 50,000 kilometers. Around this run, the starter nickels burn out. It is not necessary to change the part, it can be repaired in specialized workshops. Often, the engine loses oil due to a banal leak of the oil pan, gaskets are not provided, the pan is planted on the sealant. More modern engine, V6. Its head and cylinder block are cast from aluminum alloy. This engine is noticeably more expensive than the four in maintenance and repair, and also has a high fuel consumption. Many owners prefer to install gas balloon equipment, which pays for itself in two or three years. There are practically no complaints about mechanical gearboxes. Over time, the linkage of the lever may loosen, which is why the already not very clear gear changes become blurred. Automatics were rarely repaired, but if necessary, it was mainly a bunch with a gasoline V6. Fully independent suspension is not as strong as we would like. Thrust bearings wear out quickly. Shock absorbers are not so durable, and the rear ones end faster than the front ones. By about 50,000 kilometers, you will have to fork out for front wheel bearings. Slightly more released front. Against this background, the stabilizer struts are long livers. The most demanded engine is a petrol 2.4 liter 4. First of all, on a used Captiva 2.4i, ask if the first owner changed the timing belt, the service life of which is regulated by 60,000 kilometers. If not, updated along with the cutscenes. At the same time, check the condition of the water pump, it stably withstands two timing belt replacements. On the V6, also carry out a complete computer diagnostics, the engine is much more expensive to operate than a 2.4 liter one. In addition, he has an increased appetite for engine oil, up to 150 grams per 1000 kilometers. Gearboxes are durable, but in an all-wheel drive transmission, the rear wheel drive clutch is not so reliable. It quickly overheats during long slippage. A failed cross piece changes along with the cardan. In the front suspension, after 50,000 kilometers, you will have to change the support bearings of the struts along with the shock absorbers, as well as the wheel bearings. Stabilizer struts can withstand up to 75,000 kilometers, and ball bearings, up to 100,000. In the rear suspension, the stabilizer struts and shock absorbers hold up to 80,000 kilometers. By 100,000 kilometers, wheel bearings can be changed twice. The body is well protected from corrosion, but the paintwork is weak. Peel off chrome on the outer details of the decor. There are also problems with cabin equipment. The airbag wiring is buggy. The air conditioning compressor fails. Its clutch jams. Needs a computer upgrade.